Okay, this fly is way too simple for how good it is. This is the leech pattern that I have fished more than any other leech pattern for probably the last two years, and it is absolutely a killer. So check it out. Dude, that's a big brown Okay, this fly is too good and too simple not to share. Um, my stillwater fishing, I fish a lot of leeches, a lot of buggery stuff. But this this fly is so easy, I've just kind of got this in a whole bunch of different color combos. This is probably my very best one though. So, we'll just get started. I've got a fully mill jig force short hook in the vise in a size 12. This hook's really stout, but the thing I like about it the most is the eyes turned. So you see that eye? You can put a big bead on that and it's not going to slide over the eye of your hook. It works for paradigons as well, but this is like the ultimate little mini leech hook. I'm just going to use olive 140 thread. You can use whatever thread you like the most. All right. So one of the keys to this fly is the premium bugger boo. Um, sorry, what's the name of that? Yeah, okay. So one of the keys of the fly is this. It's the Nature Spirit Premium Bugger Boo. So you can see even as I talk, it's whispering or it's wisping. Um, it's very, very flowy, movable marabou. I don't know what else to say about it, but it really makes this fly work extremely well. This is just olive, so I'm just gonna pull some off the stem. I have it in my fingers like that. I like to just kind of roll it up in my fingers and grab it all by those butts and then preen it out. So now I've got a really nice clump of marabou with a bunch of junk on the end. So I'm just going to trim that junk off kind of close to the end and then to make it so that I can use most of that marabou out the back, I know we're always Hold to tie the marabou in close to the head and then just wrap it all the way back. Thanks to old Mr. Davy McPhail, I learned this hack. I'm going to take my thumbnail and just pluck off all those fibers. Now, this would be killer to make out of the, into dubbing. Just stay tuned on that one. Maybe we'll do it. But it looks pretty thick still, but when I tie that in, you'll see that all that bulk feather material is off and it should tie in really really slim boom so if you learned anything today let it be that and go go and be happy so you can see there's a little tiny bump but for the most part we got a really nice um, tail tied in there um, I had one fiber on the tail I just broke it off don't ever cut the back of your tails on your leeches or buggers they, they, it breaks off just fine looks more natural all right so, I am going to use this little Fritz material. Jelly 10, pale olive, any of the olive colors will do the trick. And I'm just going to peel off a little bit of the material off the stem, like that, and just tie that stem in, and then advance my thread forward, right to here. And then, uh, you know, you can, you can rotary this in place. Sometimes this chenille takes a little suggesting to get it to lay exactly how you want to do it, but it's really not super critical. Since we're making a vidya, might as well make it real nice for you. Another cool thing you can do is space out the wraps and leave a color of thread underneath so it shows through. Um, but this ought to do it. So I'm just going to tie that off up by the head. Give it a trim and whip finish. All right, so that's it. That's the Fritz Leech. Multiple colors should be tied in this one. You can tie more sparse in the body if you want. You can put different colors underneath. Popular colors for this one are this same fly with the chartreuse bead. 
or all black and chartreuse or claret and maroon and gold or whatever but anyway I've caught a ton of fish on this you can tie it in a bunch of different weights and they're super fast to tie